Hi, my name is Mehta Nostretti from Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. Did you know that more than 800,000 people die every year due to heart attacks only in the US? And heart attacks are really difficult to deal with. They are unpredictable and there is little or no time to react. In fact, it is very important to be able to detect heart attacks as early as they happen. To do so, we have to monitor people at risk vital signs such as heartbeat rate or respiration rate continuously. Currently in the market, there are several technologies that can monitor a human heartbeat rate or respiration rate, such as an EKG unit. However, all of them need to attach some electrodes to the human body, which is not comfortable for the patient and it is definitely not practical for long-term monitoring. And the other issue that they have is that they are limited to either heartbeat rate or respiration rate. What we are proposing is that uh, is a non-contact or contactless portable and easy to use device that can detect and monitor human heartbeat rate and respiration rate at the same time. Our device will continuously monitor the heartbeat and respiration rate. It can also immediately detect any abnormal activities such as cardiac arrest or sleep apnea. How does it work? Our device is based on Doppler radars. We shoot an ultra low power signal to the patient and we measure the reflected signal. Based on that, we can extract the useful information. In comparison to other technologies, we offer several advantages. For example, our approach is totally non-contact. No electrode is attached to the human body. We use mechanical vibration of the heart and chest wall. For example, EKG uses electrical potential. We can detect heartbeat rate and respiration rate with one device. And more importantly, with one device, at the same time, we can monitor multiple people, which is a cost-benefit proposition. So far, we have designed, built, and developed multiple prototypes. In this picture, we can see our latest prototype. We have conducted more than 95 experiments. 20 people were involved. And so far, we can monitor and detect human heartbeat rate up to 1.2 meters away from the person with an accuracy of more than 95% compared to the, to the EKG results. And we can mo monitor multiple people. Here's an example of the experiment. Uh, in terms of the market, the market is pretty large, more than $300 billion. We are targeting hospital and nursing homes as our primary customers. Uh, we have two main competitors, EKG and smartwatches. The former is expensive and, co and complicated. The latter is rather cheap, but still is a wearable device. Uh, we can generate revenue from direct sale of the device to the customer or through licensing of our hardware or software. And we have estimated if we go to mass production, the cost per unit will be around $100. In terms of IP potential, we have a provisional patent filed by Stevens. And last year, we won an award from IEEE Microwave Theory and Techniques Society. And here is a research uh, output in terms of publications. And I would like to thank you all for your time and attention. What's the relative accuracy of your device versus smart or other? Uh, up to 1.2 meters. It is more than 95% accuracy to compare to an EKG unit. And yes. If you get closer to the person, the accuracy will go up. Okay. Yeah. So what are you exactly measuring? With the we are measure measuring the vibration of the uh, heartbeat rate and respiration that is projected on the chest wall. When we breathe, it's moving. We measure that vibration and we can extract the heartbeat and respiration rate information. And that tells you about the respiration? Also? No, we don't look at the air or other stuff. We look at the projection of the vibration due to heartbeats on the chest wall. Is, does that differ from one person to the other? Uh, it is different and the, the point is about the spatial resolution. How can you measure? It's basically vibrometers. How can small you measure? Yeah, it changes from person to person. So, sorry, just one more question. Did you ever measure anybody who is having a heart attack and see that difference or? No, we haven't uh, because of the uh, regulation <coughs> that you have to apply for IRB. We only tested on the healthy people. How high was the highest heart rate that you detected? Because when you get a very high, high heart rate, I would guess that the motion is less. 
Do you have any problems seeing the, the no, dispatch? No, because high you know we are using the radio wave, and we are traveling at the speed of light. So yeah, that but still the motion of the heart will be less. Because yeah, it doesn't go like tum tum. It depends on the frequency. At the frequency that we are working right now, uh, we can. There is no problem with that. We didn't do it on the people with a high heartbeat rate because if they move. They, they are interference with our measurement, but we did uh, the measurement with the actuator, which is moving back and forth, and there is no problem with that. You could have done it on somebody who runs a lot or who's- But we will capture other happens. motions of the body, which is- I mean, no, you, uh, yeah. you could make them run for a while and then sit down and then, yes. uh, am I right? Yes, that's true. Have you done those sorts of experiments or not? I have done it on myself to the point but i don't have any publications or recorded data yeah just i was curious if i can capture the data yeah very nice thank, thank you, you.